Good evening and welcome to Millennium Stage. And now please give a warm welcome to the chair of the DC Legendary Musicians, Reverend Dr. Sandra Butler Truesdale. Thank you. And good evening, everyone. I um, chair an organization, as she just said, called the DC Legendary Musicians Incorporated. It's a 501c3. We are a service organization, and we provide service to our wonderful professional musicians of the DMB. So tonight, though, uh, we were working very hard with a gentleman that I have a lot of respect for, uh, Dr. Paul Carr, who's a great jazz saxophonist. And we wanted to make sure that we are stepping up our game, which is to start to work now with intergenerational music and musicians. And so these young people actually really fit the bill. And we had them, I do a show on WPFW FM radio called Live at Five on Thursdays. And we had these young people on that show and I was so impressed with them that I thought, uh-oh, we're getting ready to take them to the Kennedy Center with us. So tonight, that's what you'll hear. These wonderful young men and women. And I'm just so proud to be associated with them. We have lots of things that we're gonna do with them in the very, very near future. But before we go any further, I want to acknowledge the presence of one of our board members, as well as one of our supporters and his wife, Mr. and Mrs. Blair Rubel. Mr. Blair Rubel is a member of the DC Legendary Musicians Board. And I'm not sure that Brenda Jones is here, but Brenda Jones also in the back, she's waving her hand. Uh, she is a member of the DC Legendary Musicians Board and wonderful friend of mine for the last, uh-oh, I won't tell you all how many years because you all, you all may figure out that I'm 80, so. Uh, <laughs> and that is Mr. and Mrs. Jacques Chevalier. I'm, go I'm not going to take up much of your time because I always tell people never give the mic to a preacher because they will go on and on. So I'm not going to preach a sermon. I'm going to just let the band preach to y'all. Go right on with it, Brother Paul. Good evening, and thank you, uh, Dr. B uh, Butler Truesdale, for this wonderful opportunity. I'm going to introduce to you the Jazz Academy Orchestra at this time. Thank you. 
Okay, that was a little bit of Whirly Bird, Count Basie, the Atomic Basie. Okay. Uh, Jay Cannon on the tenor saxophone. Charles Little on the, on the clarinet. Jehoon So on the tenor saxophone. Robin Walker on the alto sax. And Matt Mason on the drums. Okay. Can we do one more by Basie? Off the same app, off the same record, okay? Same record, Atomic Basie. This one's called Midnight Blue. We're gonna feature our uh, se uh, senior, Jesse Silverberg, at the uh, piano. Thank you. 
Let's hear it for Jesse Silverberg at the piano. So the Jazz Academy of Music is also a 5013C, and it was, I don't know if um, something is written on there, but it was uh, created in 2002 to uh, advance, um, advance jazz through education and outreach. And at that time, we, we, just, we started with a, with a camp, which started, uh, it's called Jam Camp. And um, a few years, few years later, we, we started this orchestra, and we have also an ensemble, and we have Jam Lab. So we have programming for, for students ages from 10 to 18 all year long. So, uh, but at the end of the year, they're very tired of me. <laughs> so we're gonna continue with something uh, called Bistro Latino.
Thank you. Dominic Vance at the drums. Jordan Bell on the soprano sax. Harry Brand on the alto saxophone. Jason Shu on the clarinet. And Jehoon Shu on the uh, tenor saxophone. Okay, we're gonna slow things down just a tad, and, th and we're gonna, oh, she's already out, okay. Uh, Julia Capizzi, meet her. You are a sophomore? Junior. Ju oh, junior already, they, they grow up so fast. She's a junior at BCC, yes. okay. All right, and we're, gonna pl and we're gonna do, and she's gonna do The Nearness of You. Soft love. 
Jules. We call her Jules Capizzi. Come on out, please. Jules Capizzi. Very nice. Did anyone notice that we have a lot of saxophone players up here? Yeah. Ah, okay. So anyway, I thought you all might notice that. So we're gonna play one to uh, feature these uh, lovely men and women. And this one's called 10 Brothers.
Of notes, that's a lot of notes. Jeremiah Edwards at the base. Let me have all of the soloists stand up, please. All the soloists stand up and take a bow. Okay, yeah. Man. So, this, um, this association, I've actually been seeing, um, um Dr. Bella Trisdale around for years, and we've, you know, always been very cordial, and I've always admired what she does, uh, you know, the work that she does, because it's kind of work that you kind of like get drafted to, you, you kind of like, you don't, uh, it's just something in you to, you know, to do that type of work. And uh, I feel the same with working, you know, with working with young people. And so uh, the synergy and the energy between us was like very, very, uh, it, was, it, was, it was instantaneously. And I think she was, we, the kids played down at the um, DC Jazz Festival one year and she was our announcer and we just had a ball. So anyway, and she introduced me to this young man that I'm about to uh, um, bring out here. And his name is Mr. Jalon Hartwell. Jalon Hartwell, Jalon Hartwell, let's give him a nice round of applause. And uh, what's, what school you go to? He goes to Gwynn Park, okay, Gwynn Park, okay. And this, this guy is like, he comes to rehearsal and he's saying like, yes, sir. And, and uh, he's very, very mannerable. And I'm like, where is this kid from? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and, uh, and uh, I just, and we, we, uh, we played at the, on the um, radio station. Just a uh, fabulous, fabulous young man. And uh, so let's hear it. Actually, the whole tune here that we're going to play, this is called Peaches Are Better. The whole title is Peaches Are Better on the Other Side of the Track. And the whole tune, this tune we're playing uh, without music, okay? So I'm going to tell you, I just sent the track out to everyone, and we just, and I said, all right, before you come to next rehearsal, learn it. And so we're going to see what, we're going to see how they did. Okay. <laughs> you all ready for some blues?
he's here for our dancer, okay? Jalon Harwell, come on in, man. Jalon Harwell. That was Charles Little on the clarinet. Robert walking on the alto saxophone. And um, Julian Pins at the, on the trombone. Okay, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna continue with this one's called Sangarama. Thank you. 
All right, Sangarama. That's Stan on the drums. Mira on the, bar on the baritone saxophone. Jay on the tenor saxophone. Ben on the trombone. I'm missing someone. Oh, Olivia, alto saxophone. All right, am I forgetting? Okay. We're gonna do one more for you, and this one here, I just wanna say this is, um, it was an honor for us uh, to be asked to, to, to play here and to, uh, and to work with, uh, with Dr. Truzell. It's, it's just wonderful. So uh, thanks so much for coming. I hope you had a wonderful holiday, didn't eat too much. If you did, I mean, you know, hey, that's what it's there for. Uh, I know I certainly did. And this last tune here, let's give a, another applause, round of applause for these young men and women, young musicians. And just to let you know, we, pr we practice bi-weekly, and sometimes we might throw in another rehearsal here and there, but, and this is all done on their time, okay? So the rehearsals, and, and, um, and so they, uh, they really have taken this uh, responsibility of playing this challenging music, and so you're gonna see a lot of these faces continue on in music and also being leaders in the community uh, uh, in the future, you know? So there you go. Visit us on the web at uh, jazzacademy.org. So, yes. Oh. DeAndre Williams. DeAndre, uh, I met him yesterday uh, in rehearsal hall. And he was dancing, and he told me he could dance. So I invited him to come down and, and, and dance for you all this evening. So would you all give him a, a great hand of encouragement? Uh, I can dance, too. No, I'm just kidding.
Thank you, Zika Boogaloo. Let's hear it for the Jazz Academy Orchestra. The Jazz Academy Orchestra. Thank you so much. Please visit us on the web, www.jazzacademy.org. They have a performance next weekend, and then they will be performing on the main stage at the Mid-Atlantic Jazz, Jazz Festival in February with the great Terrell Stafford. So, thanks a lot, and happy holidays to everyone, and hope to see you soon. Thank you.
Thank you for joining us at the Millennium Stage. For more information about our programs, please visit us online at kennedy-center.org or on Facebook. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening at the Kennedy Center.